La potenza con cui abbiamo a che fare è incommensurabile. Se l'impero ha questo tipo di potenza, che possibilità abbiamo? Abbiamo la speranza. Le ribellioni si fondano sulla speranza. Ben Burt, che fece il sound design originale, fu fenomenale. Ha like, inventato so molti grandi sounds in un film che è difficile make that leap again in a new movie. Um, but we were allowed access, obviously, to all the library of the original sounds, mm. and as well as creating new ones, and mm. uh, working at Skywalker sound was a bit of a dream come true. I used to do all the sound effects as a kid, playing with the toys. Mm -hmm. And um, and it was funny, when I first had the meeting with sound designers on our first chat, I didn't realize I was doing it, but I was obviously doing all the impressions of the sounds, you know, as you're speaking. and. And, and they were laughing and going, uh, like, oh, I've not worked with a filmmaker <laughs> that, that does impressions before, because it feels like that's an easier way to talk sometimes is, you know, say like, oh, it's got to be more like, like <laughs> you know. Uh, speaking of sound, uh, I was doing a Star Wars movie almost without uh, lightsaber. It was uh, difficult, I think. Yeah, we knew, you know, in the timeline that our film takes place in, there's no Jedi because it's right before the original Star Wars film where they're all supposed to be extinct. But a film without the Force in it, you know, or the idea of the Force doesn't feel like Star Wars to me. It's kind of like the spiritual anchor of Star Wars. And so our characters end up on this journey through this place called Jeddah, which is like the Mecca or Jerusalem of Star Wars. And people go there on a pilgrimage, you know, that worship the Force and the Jedi and... It's this incredibly ancient place that we've never seen before in, in any of the films, and, and it's occupied territory as well. It's, uh, when they arrive, it's, it's been oppressed by the Empire, and so there's this like revolution going on which, which our characters get sucked into. Um, for one of the, the last scenes, I, I won't do any spoiler, but uh, have, you, um, tr um, uh, have you inspired by Old Boy, by Frank Chakwok, in the scene in the hallway, in the starship? Uh, no. <laughs> I know, we nearly, we did mention that. It wasn't mm. inspired by it at all, but what happened was there was a bit where um, we nearly removed the side wall, which would have made it like that scene you're talking about and uh and we didn't in the end but that did that film get mentioned once whilst we were doing the choreography but it was really a, a greatest hits mm. from star wars that i love that without ruining it sort of takes place right at the very end mm, uh, as a as a not as a director but as a fan uh, we, uh, would you choose a dark side or light side and why Um, the dark side and the light side are linked together in an eternal battle that will never end, and so you can't separate them, I'm afraid. Mm. I would say light, and then I'd become dark, or if you say dark, you maybe become light. It just sort of goes on and on forever. Mm -hmm. um, very quick, um, I'm not speaking about this movie, but uh, do you think that, in general, uh, tragic love is the most romantic of all? Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably the most emotional. Uh, friendships and relationships are ones that you know can't last forever um, that have a time limit on them and so I think the the connections between the characters in our film uh, I hope feel more powerful because you know it's just this movie mm -hmm. um, this is not part of you know epi you know you're not going to do like a Rogue 2 and Rogue 3 and Rogue 4 it's just this one film and then it links to the original Star Wars film and so when you watch it hopefully you can't predict what's going to happen and you feel genuine concern for our characters because who knows what's going to happen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thanks. Nice job. Cheers. Your no. movie is amazing. No.